hello everyone it's me again this time i'm gonna show you guys the cute green nails that everybody loved i think i did them like last week so right here i'm just showing you guys the products i'm using i don't know if you were able to see the number for the nude color it's one of my favorites from valentino it's from victoria's collection is number six and zule smooth and monomer and girl, you know I had to put a couple drops of acetone in the monomer so that it could speed up the drying process because like I've mentioned in every damn video already, in the winter, our product dries slower. So the monomer will let it dry at pretty much regular time. Like what it would have been in regular speed or a little bit faster in like average weather. And if you didn't know, girlfriend, yep, the weather plays a big role in how fast or slow your product dries. So, my client, she wanted more of a um, square coffin look. Like, I guess some people call it tapered. So, I ended up using the extra long stiletto. And then I just cut them down a little shorter because she didn't want them that long. And then I feel like that shape of nail tip is perfect because it is a little bit wider towards the center of the of the tip versus the extra long stiletto coffin that one is a lot slimmer so depending on what my clients want their nail shape to look like is what determines which tip i'm going to be using and i just wanted to share that with you because i was just talking about nail tips with another nail tech on instagram so i was like let me share it with everybody else as well so she ended up wanting her i think it was a ring finger the ring finger and the thumb all nude because those were gonna have bling and then the other the other three are gonna be like little french with glitter so normally when i do nude well it depends on the nude but majority of the nudes they are considered a core color so they don't really need encapsulating so i will do the nail as thick as i'm gonna want it so that i don't have to encapsulate i only do this with nudes and clear not really with color acrylic because color acrylic doesn't really have the strength as one that is a core so i i ended up switching my brush because I was using a number 16 and when I'm doing like little Frenchies, I call them little Frenchies, I have more control over like my product with a smaller brush. Because the size of your brush does play a big role on how your product also flows. So if you're a beginner, I do not recommend you trying a big brush. I mean, you can if you want to, but personally, I recommend a brush that is size 8 through 12 nothing larger until you have more practice because the larger the brush the more crazy your acrylic will go because it does hold a lot more monomer so if you are using acrylics that are slower setting i do recommend to use a smaller brush that way your lenny he's over here crying because he wants to go outside with the dog sorry um i do recommend to use a smaller brush less less liquid in the brush and i'm not like a, a super professional at these little frenchies i do try my best to make them as perfect as possible but i still struggle with them girlfriend and you i like to work a little bit at a time because then no quiero que me salga toda like hella bulky and thick and then I have to mm, do more work so I always start at the apex area which is where the nail tip and the natural nail meet and that's where I start to decide how long of a of a nail bed I'm gonna be doing and if it's gonna be round or if it's gonna be more pointy and then because they're not always like hella perfect or anything like that I always go in with a little file and I try to perfect them a little bit more. Sometimes yeah. salen más bonitas que otras. But with practice, we all get better. So this is a color that I was using for the green. It's from Young Nails. I got it in a kit many years ago when I barely 
I used to use Mia Secret products and then I transferred to um, Young Nail. So I ended up buying like three kits because I just love the deal, you know. So one of the kits came with this glitter and I've been having it there forever because I always tell you guys, you have to apply very thin layers. There's no need for all these blobs of product. You're just wasting it out on the napkin. I mean, if that's what you do, girl, go for it. But recommend i recommend to just work a little at a time i understand time is money but so is your product product is money especially like if it's a product that they discontinue and you're like girl i just use it all up on this bitch and now it's all over the napkin and then i can no longer get it because it's discontinued so you have to kind of think about that too so just use a little bit don't over apply glitters or colored acrylics and then the rest you apply with clear acrylic. <sighs> Have you guys ever noticed that color and glitters are always in smaller jars? Like very rarely do companies make them in larger containers. You know why? Because you don't need that much. Like I've been having this color for a long time. Let me know in the comments if you've had product for over two years that you've never used. But girl, we're going to use it one day. We are going to use it. So don't think that you're just buying things for comprarlas. You're going to need them one day. Like this girl, this client of mine, she showed me a picture and she's like, oh, I'm going to want glitter Frenchies. And I was like, okay, girl. And then she told me that she wanted emerald bling. And I'm like, ooh, girl, I have this color that's like hella perfect. Super perfect for that bling. And that's how we ended up with this color. But yeah, so my little Frenchies are not like hella perfect. So don't be like talking shit, bitch, in your brain. Like, está como lo va a estar enseñando y yo ni lo sé bien. Like, yo tampoco no soy perfecta, pero pues, I try. And right here, I'm just going to encapsulate them. And I always apply my beads. Always, always, always when I start and when I finish and, or when I'm encapsulating in the apex. If you don't know what the apex is. I just mentioned it. Go back, bitch. I'm just kidding. I'll tell you again. It's where the nail tip and the natural nail, um, where they meet. So pretty much that's the stress area where you're more likely to break a nail in un pinche putazo. So if your nail is super flat, it doesn't have the strength. So if you hit yourself or bump it or somebody steps on you or whatever the hell, it's going to fucking break. And they will not break if they have the proper thickness in your apex. So I'm going to be doing the bling bling now. And I'm using the one and only Zilei Bling Adhesive. And the Mia Secret Activator. And I get a lot of people who ask me, what activator do you recommend? But you can use whatever you have, girlfriend. You don't have to use Mia Secret. That's just something that I've used. Ever since I tried it, I fell in love. And... Um, I've tried a different one that is a white can. It works too, but I feel like it's too strong. I mean, the Miss Secret one is strong as fuck too, but the other one I feel like I'm about to get cancer with that shit, just sniffing it. Y como que, I don't know. But everybody likes different things. What works for me may not work for you. And then these fucking little diamonds. Como se movían los hijos de la chingada. And I was showing you guys a little clip, like a little glimpse of my middle finger because... I put on one of those emerald shapes and in, when I was looking for some product in a box, my hand got stuck, the top part of it came off. And I was not happy with how my bling was looking, so I was like, okay, hold on, let me take it off and redo it because I had put the little bling bling, a little crooked, you know, and I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but I be putting some bling all crooked sometimes, e. I can't tell until the end and I'm like, ay, Diosito, está bien chueco la verga. But whenever I do it to myself, I don't go fuck. I see chueco y todo me lo va a dejar. And this glue was just having a mind of its own. Like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? You fucking bling embarrassing me on YouTube over here. But I tell you guys all the time, apply a little at a time because this thing can dry fast, can dry slow, depending. I did have the heater on. And it was pointing at me, so I'm not sure if that made the glue dry faster. 
but there's times where it doesn't dry that fast so you can never be too careful and right here i didn't know if i was gonna use that clip or not because it stopped recording and i was like what the fuck stupid phone so i was like okay let me record the other finger and then i just wanted to show the whole glue and everything again just in case i didn't insert the previous clip well, you want to play lenny you want to play and so the emerald um crystals the round ones those are size 12 somebody did request that i talk about the sizes of the crystals so the marquees i think it's eight by 8.5 no eight i don't really know i call them small so the next marquees i believe is a size nine and then my client just let me freestyle her little bling because she didn't really know what she wanted but she's not like special or anything so i'm sure i was sure that she was gonna like whatever i gave her because she she's not like picky or special i actually recorded her nails she was the one with the blush the blush set i think it's been a month already that i did them i told her she was gonna be my little model for youtube because she sits perfectly i don't have to like wrestle her fucking hands because you all know we all have those clients who who want to like just chill in their seat and is like girlfriend can you move forward please because me duele la pinche espalda la verga and then um yeah i don't know this little diamond kept like fucking with me and i was like what the fuck man because of the curve of the nail the emerald shape doesn't sit flat so the stupid diamond kept going underneath it and i was like what the fuck so i shoved a bunch of glue under there to make sure that it doesn't fall off and then i was trying to like surround the diamond with little baby ones and the little babies just kept going inside so i was like what the fuck you stupid little bling but I managed to do it because the bling was so tiny. This one, I believe, is a size 5. It's so little, I couldn't really see it when I would have, like, put it with a wax stick. So, this is what the design looks like. And then I ended up asking her that what did she want in her thumb because she wanted some bling on her thumb. And we did very similar, just larger stones. And I'm just going to let you guys watch it because this throat of mine is like, parezco hombre. It's like, if I've been talking for days, but I have not been talking to nobody. Oh, girl. So this is, never mind. I didn't let you guys watch it. I kept fucking talking and talking. So this is the finished look, honey. Let me know what you, what you think. And the thumb was the same thing. Just larger. Instead of the babies, I put larger ones.